Hey everybody on YouTube, it's Petey here. So, uh, I was, uh, minding my own business, and I happened to see something tasty happen on this, uh, very channel, the official Pokemon YouTube channel. Let's get right to it. This is gonna be the trailer, f uh, you know, I think this might be the last trailer. Let's check it out. Look at them running around. What to expect? What the heck is this guy? Cramorant. Type flying water as opposed to water flying. Ability gulp missile. This kind of reminds me of, um. What the hell is that thing? Is that like a dodo? Returns with a catch in his mouth after using surf or dive. That's freaking cool. I have a feeling Pelipper's gonna learn this. Like, I- like, Pelipper, that's gonna be like a hidden ability or something. Look at how cute that thing is, too. It's like a stupid bird that you would see in, like, a Disney film. Like, it's just so dopey and, like... Watch, 10 out of 10, this guy's gonna be a Pokemon. The fish Pokemons. Kinda like how Remoraid and, uh, Mantine kinda have their, uh, I guess, synergy. When it comes to, um, I don't know, being included. <laughs> That's so satisfying to watch. What the heck is this thing? This doesn't even look like a Pokemon, to be honest with you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's get the name. It's a teacup Pokemon. That's to be expected. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Is it like weak armor? Type ghost weak armor. I don't know the ability. Poltergeist. How do you pronounce that? I, I, I'll find out in the anime once that comes out. God, I'm going to miss the sun and moon anime. Wow, the, an the animation is actually really good. I have a feeling they listen to all the fans, all the complaints with all the fans and stuff. Go camping with your Pokemon. Let's see what this is about. It's camp time. I'm getting vibes from like, Hey You Pikachu, all of a sudden. That is a, uh, Hey Pikachu. Hey Vileplume, bring that crap over here. You get to play with them? This is way better than Pokemon to me. In my humble opinion. Oh, yeah. This is what they meant by animations, I suppose. El Creme is a, uh, it's like a mint flavor looks, looking thing. Cook curry with your partners. With all the evolutions. Sausages. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, pork-free sausages, pillow swine-free, or grump pick free and berries. Sausages and berries. Very healthy. I love that. How, how, like, the Pokemon get to help. I'm getting, like, flashbacks from Kingdom Hearts 3, though. Is this gonna be crap? This, the animations are fucking sweet, though. A little bit more expressions on the, you know, protagonist character. That's, you know, we're not gonna get, like, complete... Yeah. Wow. Wow, a lot more customizations. Um, a little foot uh, cliff note or footnote or whatever. Um, I didn't really like any of the fashion choices when it came to the Alola region. I'm just going to throw that out there. If you guys agreed, if anybody agreed, you know, like, comment and we could talk about that. Because I, I loved the idea of adding in clothes when it came in Gen 6. But the Alola region just kind of, there was just nothing really to wear. Um... Team Skull outfit was pretty cool, though, but I digress from that. More haircut options. I'm into that. Thick eyebrows. I got beautiful thick eyebrows, so I could use that um, when, I, when I go to customize my character. Shopping malls. Gotta accessorize, man. Gotta accessorize them all. Collect league cards. Hop. I'll give you every one of my lead cards. 
I wonder what lead cards do. It's probably somewhere on the internet referring to that. Sword, shield. Customize your own lead card. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's like a Rotom thing in the upper right corner. I wonder what that is in reference to. Wait, hold on. Let me back this up. I just realized this. Listen to the bagpipes. This is like a... You know, like a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Kind of give me that kind of... Kind of feel. I hate the bagpipes live, though. That That's just not... Wow, okay. The music sounds really freaking sweet. I thought it was going to be unoriginal sounding. Here, let's skip the autoplay. I thought, yeah, no, like everything with that was going to be... I don't know, just based on the first trailer, I thought I was a little bit hesitant on the music, but because of this trailer, it's like, wow, everything's really coming together. It all comes together with Gen 8, Galar Region, Pokemon, Pokemon. Let's, uh, let's, let's hop over to the Pokemon website, Pokemon.com, the official website of Pokemon. It's probably news on Sword and Shield and all that good stuff. The Galar region. See, they got, they already updated it. It's like they know what they're doing. Special offers. Introducing new Pokemon of the Galar region. Um, let's, let's introduce them. Because I want to, I want to dig deep into this. There's probably more information on other articles, but I'd rather go to the source. So it's 2-7, Gulp Missile. Probably a relative to Gulpin. No, I'm kidding. It's not. I just like the dot. It's just the eye is just a a dot. It's like a looks like a target almost. Okay, look at this guy. Look at this fish Pokemon over here. This looks like a new Pokemon. That's going to be coming out. Has to be. A voracious, voracious eater? Is that the word? Cremorant is a insatiable. When it comes to food, try swallowing anything it fits in his mouth. Sounds like my ex. Sometimes it will swallow things that aren't its intended prey, spitting them out in a hurry once it realizes <laughs> its mistake. <laughs> <laughs> also like my ex. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna get demonetized. Wait a minute. I can't even get monetization. <laughs> I regret nothing. Um, Kremrat can be forgetful, forgetful, but it will never forget a trainer it grows to trust. So yeah, the dopey face. I'm assuming it, it's gonna learn amnesia naturally. Kind of like a quagsire type of thing. Um, that, that's what I'm thinking. Placing my bets. Polt, poltergeist. Let's look at Poltergeist over here. The Black Tea Pokemon. So why isn't it Dark type? I was going to make a comment about Black Tea, but I didn't know how it would come across because, you know. But like Black Tea is a typical uh, tea, you know, that the Brits use. Um, I think my mom actually drinks a lot of black tea that's very british oriented but they used to come in a brick and uh i think like a single brick uh like I, it would be cool to see a brick tea pokemon like if if poltergeist had like a a brick form you know you could take it to boston poltergeist and it kind of has that accent to it just just throwing that out there black tea with a stick Distinct aroma and flavor. Poltergeist's body is made from black tea, and it is said to have a very distinct aroma and flavor. It will only allow a trainer it trusts to sample its tea. Tasty. However, drinking too much can lead to indigestion or an upset stomach, so be careful. Fun fact, black tea actually inhibits um, 
absorption in the intestines. Black tea and coffee. So that's a little lesson for you folks to this for this day. So it makes sense. Too much black tea isn't necessarily good. You know, it's good for weight loss, but you know, I think it helps increase metabolism. But let's continue. Many poltergeists make their homes inside hotels and restaurants, disguising themselves and hiding among the tableware. They could pour their power into leftover tea and create even more of their kind. So they're often treated as pests. Wow. Rude. So they're kind of like rats in a way. They just kind of multiply and nest and and fill the juice up in the hotel business. So it's literally tea. Why isn't it water type? Why is it a ghost type? If it's made of black tea, it, it would make more sense if it was like a grass water type. With maybe some ghost. I, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I guess because it's ghost-like, that makes it a ghost type. I don't know. It could be a ghost water type. I haven't seen many of those. Or not too many of them, at, at least. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's that's pretty much all, all that we have right now. Oh, the whole camping thing seems interesting. At the uh, camp like never before. I wonder I wonder why they pick camping for this region. See, this is this is why I'm gonna live in a van down by the river. Cause like, you know, I don't know. I I feel like after I turned ten, I wasn't able to leave the house. I felt like betrayed by my parents where it's just like come on mom and dad I'm 10 years old I'm like practically an adult by now let me just like catch wild animals and train them to to dog fight each other and um yeah that's that's pretty much it then put put your heart into it oh that's so wholesome and Sylveon's over there Sniffing the roses. I'm excited. Like, I... Like... I mean, like, I know the first time around, I was just like, man, this is gonna be a good game. Oh, this is gonna be a good game. But now I'm just kinda, like... I don't know. I, I'm like, yeah, this is... I'm ready for the next generation. I'm ready to do it. To do all this stuff. Camping. And petting Score Bunny, because it's a bunny. And and petting a dog, having a pet little corgi thing. My ex girlfriend had a corgi, well, one of them. Cutest little things you'll ever lay your eyes on. They're just they just are so full of love and personality. I just can't wait to have one. Only thing that's uh, worried uh, worrying me is the sausage. Where do they get the sausage from? Is it um, is it grump pig intestines or is it uh pillow swine intestines? Leave your comments in the comments section if you have a good theory in accordance to that, or if it's plant based, could be made from uh, you know, cheruby blood or something. Satine, good old good old Pokemon Satine. I think that's like making poffins or something. I'm not sure. But look at that style, man. I feel like I'm I'm like and just the the reflection on the boots. It's just shiny and but it's not too overbearingly detailed. It's like simple and bright and happy and you know, maybe I'm stupid and uneducated when or, or I don't know, just sheltered when it comes to gaming cuz I think I made a point earlier that, like, Pokemon fans are kind of naive when it comes to uh, stuff regarding, I don't know, I don't know, graphics and whatnot. I think that's the, yeah, resolution. But actually, when you do the math with the Nintendo Switch, I think it's, the specs are, like, 720p for the screen. And, like, even if you went to, like, 4K or 1080p, it doesn't make a difference because it's so small of a screen. Like, the pixels don't necessarily mean that much of a difference. 
I guess it's different when you uh, transfer that to a screen. But you're 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 coming from a. I mean, I'm a guy that like played Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness on a projector that was like an old projector in the dark with just you know you so you figure you know what is that 240 at most with like a projector which is awful like you can't project black like how do you project the the i don't know how do you project the color black with just lights you can't you can't so you gotta you gotta figure out a way to do it but you know that's a i don't know if i made that point in the previous video but I'm going to end this. This is getting too long. You guys have been awesome. I love you. And uh, take care now. Okay, bye-bye. I love you.